Okay, this is section 2.2, and it's on graphs and charts. And uh, here what we have is the uh, group data that we made, the group data chart from the raw data that was uh, listed earlier on the previous video. And this is the uh, group data. And then from the group data, we need to make bar graphs, relative frequency bar graphs, and so on. Well, already in the Excel sheet, we have the raw data, and we have the group data made up right here with the five different groups and there was uh, no significant digits to the right of the decimal point that's why that's a zero now to copy this value these uh, this table over to the place where we have the group data this area right here you just click the copy button and when you click that it copies your data over to this area right here which is the group data sheet that's what it just did it copied it right here now automatically your um, Every bit of information is 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 made for you here. Here's your table that we had before: relative frequency, cumulative frequency, cumulative relative frequency, class marker, midpoint, degrees on a pie graph. But we also have the lower lower class boundaries, upper class boundary, and class width calculated here. Also, every graph is made up for you at this point too. A histogram is made up for you: bar graph, relative frequency bar graph, pie graph. And below that, line graph, relative frequency line graph, and ogive, and even relative frequency ogive. So these are all automatically made for you. Now, if you're given um, group data already made in a group, you can type in these cells. So, for example, let's go to the uh, second example. So here's all those graphs that we just uh, looked at on the Excel sheet and the Excel sheet makes those automatically for you. The second set was where we, and this was the ogive and histogram. And then the second set of data was where we had the decimal points. And let's say that we don't have that data in there and we have to actually make this uh, table up. Okay, so that we can have the graph. So it goes 1.23 to 1.36. So 1.23 to 1.36 and the next class went from 1.37 to I believe 1.5 and then uh, the next one went from 1.51 to uh, 1.64 I believe let's get rid of these extra numbers here and let's put in our correct frequencies here so let's go back and look at the notes here a second to get our correct frequencies and they were 2, 2 and 8 so let's put that in here 2, 2 and 8 and automatically we have the table made up for us including the um, lower boundaries, upper boundaries, and class width, plus all the graphs are made up for us. The histogram, bar graph, relative frequency bar graph, and pie graph all on the top row. And the next row down would show the uh, our other graphs, which is the line graph, the relative frequency line graph, ogive, relative frequency ogive. So all your graphs are there and um, so it's as easy as putting in your data is really all you need to do and again if we had the raw data which I actually have out here we could have again just um, let me find I put an extra thing here so we would I wouldn't have to type it in again If we had this data let me copy this data a second if we had that data in the raw data section so I'm going to right mouse click and paste special as values. Again, you would just type your values in there. And I'm going to get rid of any extra values. Then in this area, again, in the raw data, it makes up the tables for you. We wanted three groups. There were two decimal places to the right. And there's the table made up. And then to copy that automatically over to the group data sheet, just click the Copy button and it copies it over like we had before and there's your graphs made up. 